suspect, and they believe this car was taken from somebody at gunpoint for this murder suspect to flee. Officers have been following this vehicle for close to 30 minutes now. High speeds, our, our helicopter pilot has been having to fly at speeds as high as 110 miles an hour to keep up with this vehicle. Police officers, including uh, HPD and Harris County officers, getting now closer to this, this suspect, closing in on, on the suspect. But there have been a lot of twists and turns, not a lot of close near misses as yeah. you might expect at this hour, mostly because uh, this suspect has certainly stayed out of the uh, city of Houston itself. Yeah, he's been now in a predominantly rural area here out there in the northwest side, but still headed westbound here on 90. Whoa, well, there, there he is, go. slamming his brakes and slamming into that red pickup truck. He's, it looks as though the car and is smoking. And I yeah, see. it's uh, the airbags went off. And there John he is, Ralston jumping out, 90, jumped out of the on car. the run now. Here we go, and the police, of course, are going to be chasing him. There he is. And there goes there the, officer. the officer. And, and now he's, he's down on the ground. The ground. Uh, he's given up at this point because he just laid himself on the ground. Because he fell. <laughs> it looks as though he's giving up because he because tripped he and fell. fell. Yeah. And, okay, uh, the gun to the head. I mean, you know, they're serious about this guy, of yeah. course. You can see him. Well, again, he's believed to be armed and dangerous and a murder suspect and a carjacking suspect. Right. So if all of that information that we got earlier proves to be uh, the information the officers have, you certainly understand why they're being very aggressive with, with this suspect who has been fleeing for about in excess of 30 minutes now at very high speeds on several freeways, Beltway, I-10 East, 90, um, for the last, like, as I said, about 30 minutes or so. Well, a dangerous suspect indeed, in, in the words of police. And uh, we understand from our producers that just as he jumped or fled the vehicle, we've been told that perhaps he may have thrown something. I saw something black roll onto the ground. I did see that. Okay. I couldn't tell, because we were trying to watch him too. It looked like blood there on his on his uh, t-shirt. But yeah, I couldn't tell exactly what that was. And again, I'd be speculating to say, you know, perhaps yeah. it was a weapon of some sort because they believe that he was armed, but it really could have been anything inside that car. It could have been a shoe that fell off. Yeah. You know, he, he, he appears to be fairly, fairly dormant at this point. I wonder if, if perhaps he knocked himself out when he fell on the we're, ground. We're going to show you okay, again is, yeah. the, how this uh, slow this. ended uh, as he hits a car right there, the pickup truck. There it is. Now watch when he gets out and see what happens if he has something with him or perhaps throwing something. There it is. Yeah. Something fell. We're not quite sure what that is. I or can't perhaps tell what it is. he threw something. But Again, there he, is. he just oh, threw something there, there. A secondary thing is thrown. Right. Yeah. He threw something there. Again, this so two black objects. Off armed suspect and dangerous and again and there that, you have it and that was just earlier and this is how it looks right now that is a live look there at uh, john ralston where this police pursuit has just ended all right that's it for us uh, for now on this breaking news story of